in front of Purushottam Pipalaya's garage is a petrol station, but he never needs to go there. This is how he claims he fills up his car. He takes a drink from the water bottle and then pours the rest into his car. He says that half a litre of water will be enough to get him back home. He opens the bonnet to show me how it works. Oh, device here. Oh, device here. Oh, this is hydrogen produce. Oh, battery here. Car key. The company in April is 35 MPR. There is a power regulator. The power regulator is a device with power. The car is starting. We get in and drive. Sir, we will go to the car. We will go to the car. We will go to the car. We will go to the Purushottam takes me to his home in his special car. Right, left side. His wife, Varsha Ben, is doing her morning Hindu prayers. She then prepares tea and tells me how her prayers have been answered. Her son Jignesh Pipalaya helps in the garage. But Purushottam faces a problem in terms of selling cars like this. In India, hydrogen cars are illegal. The government is concerned about safety. Next year, international car manufacturer Toyota is releasing a hydrogen fuel cell electric vehicle. In the United Kingdom, a network of 15 hydrogen filling stations will be in place by the end of 2015 as part of major investment by the government in the technology. Purushottam has patented his invention in Germany. He's sure that his inventions may have far-reaching effects on the automobile industry at home and abroad. For Asia Calling, this is Jaswinder Segal in Surat, India.